Thank you very much. Uh, we come back here, of course, uh, Jacques Bahati, the man with the luck. The man with the luck. Uh, what is your response to the question from somewhere from Uganda? Yeah, um, the question was about uh, the enrollment of uh, voters. The um, voters register. Yes. I do believe that uh, the opposition was uh, accusing, um, you know, the uh, the, independ the independent electoral commission, the electoral commission. Uh, of uh, really uh, not doing the job the way it should have been done. So those allegations uh, uh, should be taken into consideration. So because we don't have a judiciary that is um, uh, independent, so there is no way to go for the opposition to really get uh, uh, their grievances uh, looked at. So we are into, as I said before, a country that you know, has institutions that are not, are not independent. How do you know that uh, the judiciary is not independent? Well, I, I've, I was born in Congo. I have uh, had many people uh, have cases and bring them to the, the, the court. And uh, the justice system is not, is not, uh, is not uh, working properly. I can give you a, a simple example. Um, from my personal family, my brother was killed uh, by a truck. And uh, the truck belongs to the national park. Today, we are even afraid to bring the case to court because of the threat and the power of the military. And um, th that is the kind of environment we live in. Now, you, surely you're not telling us that the Congo is fake because the Congo is called the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mm -hmm. Is it, in fact, democratic? There is no democracy in Congo. So why is it called democratic? It's to accommodate, uh, you know, the, 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 you know the, it's to accommodate the, 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 our donors in some way. Uh, we should be honest about ourselves. Uh, when it's no democracy, we call it no democracy. So I, I do believe that um, in a country where people are intimidated, people are being assassinated and people disappear, uh, you, you, are, you have uh, people being jailed for nothing and you can speak freely, that, that environment, you know, our, our, our activists operate in a very hostile environment. So that is the problem we have in Congo and we need a leader who will open up that political space and give the people the space to, to really participate in strengthening the, uh, strengthening the, the institutions. Uh, freedom of, um, of speech and even the media is, it still is a very big challenge and I would say we are not in the bottom but we have that challenge.